Old Ireland's biggest coffee morning for hospice and it will take place on Thursday of this week. The event is in its 25th year and again it hopes to raise vital funds for hospices and home care services across the country. Our reporter Kean McCormack met actor Brendan Gleeson, an ambassador for the coffee morning at St Francis Hospice in Rohini in Dublin where both his parents spent their final days. A hospice is all about a resting place where the patient comes for their end of life care. So the whole thing is about quality of life for whatever time that they have left. The gift of a good death uh, is an extraordinarily uh, wonderful gift to give both to the people, obviously, who are going through it, but also to uh, the people who are left behind. There's a connection between this opera La Traviata, the actor Brendan Gleeson, and St. Francis Hospice in Rohini. Well, both my parents have um, passed through here on their way off the mortal coil. Brendan Gleeson will tell us more about that connection later, but before he does, he's standing in a large open sitting room at the hospice dressed in a blue suit. He's holding a mug of coffee and as an ambassador for Ireland's biggest coffee morning, he's beside Mark Saunders from Bewley's. They're promoting the 25th annual fundraiser for 29 hospices all over the country. Well, this Thursday, the 14th of September, is Ireland's biggest coffee morning for hospice together at Beauties, and it's the main fundraising initiative that takes place every year for local hospices all around Ireland. So what we're encouraging people to do is either attend a coffee morning, host a coffee morning, well, essentially what we want people to do is have a cup of coffee for hospice. Last year, we estimate approximately 4,000 coffee mornings took place all around Ireland, approximately 200,000 people, and it raised 1.7 million euro for local hospices. And the really unique thing about this campaign is that all money raised locally stays locally. For Gleeson, it's personal to be here in the place where his mother, Patricia, and his father, Frank, got outstanding care in their final days. Particularly for my mother, who was used to care- caring or minding uh, others, um, she saw her own mother. She had been ill for about eight years. Uh, I know she went uh, with, with great ease of mind. The gift that that gave to us and the rest of the family was, was immense because you kind of feel... In the end, I was, I was glad that she had no more pain and I knew that her last days were peaceful, uh, mentally peaceful, and that you know, also they had, they had taken care of the pain. And it's just, uh, it's an extraordinary gift. It's only really when you experience it that you know what a gift it is. Ward sister Mary Condon gave palliative care to both Patricia and Frank. We work with patients and the families at whatever stage that they're at of acceptance. So it's quality of life on the last part of their journey. Frank was here for, for quite some time and Patricia was here for a short period of time. And I can remember some lovely memories of um, Brendan sitting in with Patricia, his mum, and they watching um, some old video clips. Um, Maureen Potter was one of them. And it was just lovely to see the laughter and the fun. And while her time was short, they had some lovely quality time for the time that she spent here in the hospice. And they had lots of good laughs. That brings us back to the connection between the Opera La Traviata, the hospice and Brendan Gleeson. The opera was one of those moments of sharing and laughter mentioned by Mary Condon. Oh yeah, well we we spent, I think it was the the day before or the day before that. um, Yeah, we watched watched an opera together. It was great. It was just like, um, it was like watching a panto really because (laughs) there were just various comments on what that wretch was doing and what this one was at. And uh, it just became the most natural thing in the world. But it was a very special couple of hours, uh, very peaceful and full of fun and not the way you'd think. You know, it wasn't all that reverential, you know, and it, in a way it took a lot of the terror of death away. So yeah, it was a special time for me, but again, it was really, it was the context that's provided here by the people who work here. 
and the concern that's given. That's what takes all the pressure off it. Um, so that the terrors don't, you know, they don't, they're defeated by kindness. It's kind of a, quite a profound thing. It was actor Brendan Gleeson talking there to Kean McCormick at St. Francis Hospice in Rahini. Ireland's biggest coffee morning for hospice is happening this Thursday, as we say. If you want more information on how you can get involved, there's a website, hospicecoffeemorning.ie.